A PR coup or a show of strength, the Israeli Defence Force is giving journalists a rare look inside its military installations. This airbase in Palmahim, south of Tel Aviv, is particularly notable for its fleet of aircraft with no pilots. These drones are rapidly becoming an indispensable part of modern warfare, used to gather intelligence in enemy territory and more. For me, our main role is to support our forces. The soldiers are on the ground and we have to take care of them. We have to help them minimize the risks they take while also dealing severe blows to the enemy. Israel regularly uses drones to control Gaza, as here during the January 2009 offensive, or to bomb the smuggling tunnels feeding into the south of the Strip. More recently, they were used for surveillance of the humanitarian flotilla, which was raided as it tried to break the Gaza blockade. Lebanon is also kept under surveillance, thanks to these craft, which can fly at 10,000 metres, guided remotely. The drone computer has no family to be upset if it's killed, so everything's fine. But they're also controversial. The use of US drones in Pakistan has drawn criticism, even while Pakistan itself, as well as armies around the world, are increasingly using drones themselves. And for Israel, that means good business. Selling their drone aircraft on the international arms trade makes them more than $300 million a year.